Let us understand the exercise 1.1. And before we start understanding this exercise 1.1, let us revise what is properties of areas of ratios of two simple triangles. So it states the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their bases and the corresponding heights. Which means, let's say these are the two triangles A, B, C, and let's say this is triangle P, Q, R. So let's say this is the base of the first triangle B1, and this is the base of the other triangle. Let's say this is of length B2. And let's say the height of the first triangle on the base B1 is H1 and the height of the other triangle on the base H uh, base B2 is H2. Then area of the first triangle ABC upon area of the second triangle PQR is equal to base 1 into height 1 upon base 2 into height 2 which means if you divide the area of triangle ABC and triangle PQR you just need bases and the heights of the corresponding triangles so the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the product of their bases and corresponding heights so product means multiplication of their bases and heights bases and heights so suppose the height the name of the height is ad and the name of this height is ps then this would be bc which is the base 1 into ad which is the height 1 upon qr which is the base 2 into ps which is the height 2 let us give them numerical values for example let's say base 1 is equal to 8 while the height 1 is equal to 2 base 2 is equal to let's say 10 and the height 2 is equal to 4. So this turns out to be BC is 8. So 8 multiplied by height 1 is 2 upon base 2 is 10 while the height is 4. So let us cancel this. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. And this is not cancelled, so this becomes 2 upon 1. Or this can be written as 2 is 2. So you may write that area of triangle ABC on area of triangle PQR is equal to 2 upon 5. Now let us take the second example. Let us say this is a right angle triangle ABC where angle B is a right angle and this is an obtuse angle triangle PQR. It's very very important for you to remember that in right angle triangles the sides containing the right angles are the bases and the heights. The hypotenuse AC is not the base or the height. So if you consider BC to be the base and if you consider AB to be the height and over here QR is the base we'll say this is base 2 and there is an exterior height in case of two single triangles there are exterior heights also so let's say this is the exterior height on QR which is height 2 so sometimes you also need to say that there is an exterior height in case of two single triangles so you can say that area of triangle ABC on area of triangle PQR is the same is equal to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. Well, in this case it is BC into AB. BC is the base, AB is the height, 
and in this case it is the base is pr pr is the base while the height let's say is ps ps is the height now just to note that if you want to switch to switch this as let's say this is the base and that is the height you can consider this to be the height and this to be the base this is perfectly okay in cases of quite a problem but in this case this has to be the base and this has to be the height in case of a right angle triangle if suppose you consider ac as the base then the height coming over it is the height so this would be the height if ac is the base then pd is the height and in case of obtuse angle triangles if pr is the base then the height over pr let's say on qt qt is the height so you should remember that in case for the right angle triangle if the side containing the right angles are bases and heights it's okay but otherwise if the hypotenuse is to be the base then the side the altitude over the hypotenuse should be considered as the height now let us consider a special case if the bases are equal means b1 is equal to b2 then the areas are proportional to their corresponding heights what does this mean this means that let's say this is a two triangles a b c and d b c other two triangles now you can see that the two triangles have the same base b c and let's say this is the first height um a e is the first height and d f is the other height so you can see that in both the cases d c is the common base so the base is equal so we can say that the base is equal b c is the common base while in the first triangle a e is the height let's say that is h1 and the case of second triangle df is the height let's say that is h2 so we can say that area of the first triangle upon area of the second triangle which can also be written as area of triangle a d c upon area of triangle d b c is equal to because the bases are equal it is just equal to h1 upon h2 no need to write v1 into h1 upon v2 into h2 you can directly write h1 upon h2 and in this case it is equal to ae upon df why because it has the same base bc so this was the special case another special case is if heights are equal means h1 and h2 are equal then the areas are proportional to their corresponding bases for example let's say this is the first triangle a b c the other triangle is b c d and both are right angle triangles let's say so as i just mentioned that in case of a right angle triangle if one side containing the right angle is considered to be the base the other side containing the right angle is to be considered the height so in this case ab is the base and in this case cd is the base and both the triangles have the same height bc so let's say ab is base 1 while cd is base 2 and they have the same height bc so we can write over here that area of the first triangle upon area of the second triangle is equal to b1 upon b2 because the areas in case of the same heights are proportional to their corresponding bases let us say b1 is 8 and b2 is 7 so we can write over here triangle abc area of triangle abc upon area of triangle bcd is equal to base 1 upon 
base 2 because the height is equal is equal to AB upon CD is equal to 8 upon 7 and that is equal to 8 is to 7. So if the heights are equal, if H1 and H2 are equal, the areas are proportional to their corresponding bases. Now let us consider the special case. And now I want you to understand this very, very carefully. It's very important. This is important because this will be useful to prove the basic proportionality theorem. Now consider these triangles. Let's say the first triangle is ABC and the other triangle is ACD. But there is another triangle, ABD. So there are three triangles. One is triangle ABC, other is triangle ACD, and the third triangle is ABD. Now look at this carefully. Let's say the first base is BC, while the second base is CD. And you can see that the base BC and the base CD lie on the same line. It lies on the same line. You just write it over here. Lies on the same line. Bases lie on the same line. So over here base BC and base CD lie on the same line. And they also have a common vertex A. And they have a common vertex A. It means all the triangles start from A, A, B, C, A, C, D, and even A, B, D. So they have a common vertex A. Then all the three triangles, A, B, C, A, C, D, and A, B, D, have the same height. Have the same Let me draw it. Let's say this is the same height. Let's say AX is that height. Then this height AX is for triangle ABC. This is an equitangle triangle. The same AX is the height of this exterior, or sorry, obtuse angle triangle ACD. The height is in the exterior. The triangle ACD, which is an obtuse angle triangle, also has the same height AX. And if you consider the big triangle ABD, that big triangle ABD has base BD which also is on the same line and it also has the same height so they have the same height and therefore they have equal heights so if just we saw here if H1 and H2 are equal then area of the first triangle upon area of second triangle is equal to B1 upon B2 so we can say that area of triangle let's say ABC upon area of triangle let's say ACD here are the adjacent triangles is equal to base 1 upon base 2 now what is the base of the first triangle ABC since we are considering height as AX base is BC and what is the base of the other triangle ACD it is CD this is the base CD but what if I say that the first triangle is ABC but the other triangle is called triangle AB. The first triangle is ABC and the other triangle is ABD. Let's say the other triangle is ABD. Then again we will have the same thing because the heights are the same. So it is base 1 upon base 2. So the base of the first triangle ABC is BC. While the base of the full triangle ABD, this time we are not considering only this triangle but the full triangle. So the base of the full triangle is BD. So only the change will take this is BD. So in the area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle ABD is to base one upon base two is to BC upon B. So remember this. This is very very important to prove the basic proportionality here. It's extremely important. Now consider this. Let's say line L is parallel to line M. These two lines are parallel. Okay. Let's label the triangles A, B, C 
and P Q R. So again we have B C as the base of the first triangle and Q R as the base of the other triangle. But as you can see, the height of the first triangle, let's say this is the height of the first triangle in green, A D. And the height of the other triangle is the exterior height of the opposite triangle, let's say PS. But both these heights are equal. Heights are equal. Why are they equal? Because they are the distances between the same parallel lines. Because they are the distances between the same parallel line. So as you know, the distance between the same parallel line is always the same. And that is the perpendicular distance. That is the shortest possible distance. So AD is the distance between the line L and N. And PS is also the distance between the line L and N, therefore they ought to be equal, and therefore the heights are equal. So again we can see over here, the area of triangle ABC upon one area of triangle PQR is equal to B1 upon B2 because their are heights are equal, and that is equal to BC upon QR. Remember, only QR is the base and not SR. SR is not the base. And another case, if both bases are equal, B1 and B2 is equal, and the heights are also equal, H1 and H2 are equal, so the areas are also equal. The areas are equal. Why are the areas equal? Because area of the first triangle upon area of the second triangle is equal to base 1 into height 1 upon base 2 into height 2. But if the bases cancel out, we can say area 1 upon area 2 is equal to h1 upon h2. And if the heights cancel out, if the heights are equal, we will say that area 1 upon area 2 is equal to b1 upon b2. But if the heights are equal and the bases are also equal, we can say that area of the first triangle upon area of the other triangle, second triangle, is equal to 1 upon 1. The area of the first triangle upon area of the second triangle is 1 upon 1. So therefore, cross multiply, you get the areas are equal. So in this case, let's say ABC is the first triangle and DBC is the other triangle, DBC. Both have the same base BC. So the bases are equal. And let's say these two lines AD and BC are parallel. So as we just saw, if the lines are parallel, the distances between the lines are the heights. And both the triangles have exterior heights. So heights are also equal. So the bases are equal, it has common base, and the heights are also equal. So the V1 and V2 are equal, H1 and H2 are equal, therefore the areas are equal. So we can say that area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle BBC is equal to 1 upon 1. Or in other words, area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle BBC. Now, solve exercise 1.1 to get better understanding. Thank you.